Welcome to US Movie Recaps. In today's video, we will be enjoying a fantasy adventure film, The Boy and the Beast. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The tale begins with the history of Ju Tangai, a city of beasts. The city's Grand Master declared his intention to retire and become a god. The search for the replacement is currently underway as he decides which god he wants to be. The Placidi Nozen and the aggressive Kumitetsu are the two most likely candidates to succeed. The winner of their duel will become the new Grand Master. A young youngster running from the police may be seen at Shibuya in the middle of the night. The young man ran. Once his father abandoned them, he lost his mother. He fled to Shibuya streets on his own after declining the invitation to stay with his mother's family. He murmured about how he loathed everyone as he walked the streets. When he finished, a shadowy version of himself who was uttering the same things as him materialized. He met a little mouse-like creature while eating and gave it the name Chico. He was discovered while seated by the enormous barefaced Kumitetsu and his companion, the monkey Tatara. Looking at Ren's gaze, Kumitetsu decided to offer him the position of disciple that he was seeking. Tatara, however, made an effort to halt Kumitetsu and removed him. Ren regained his composure and followed Kumitetsu. He was discovered by some law enforcement, which forced him to flee. As he was running, he noticed Kumitetsu had entered a tiny lane and vanished. Ren hesitated for a while before following him into the same alley. Yet inside, all he discovered was a strange lane where he appeared to be in a loop. That is, until a donkey drove him into Ju Tengai Street from the alley. He was astounded to find so many humanoid beast people in a lively street. When he tried to turn around, he saw that the alley behind him was already locked. He panicked and raced to the streets in search of a way out. He was ultimately discovered by some wolves that intended to devour him. Hayakushuabu, a monk who appears to be a humanoid pig, attempted to take the boy home after saving him. When Kumitetsu discovered the two of them, he attempted to seize Ren from the monk while claiming that Ren is his pupil. After some disagreements over choosing Ren as his student, Kumitetsu led Ren to his chaotic home. Before going to bed, Kumitetsu informed Ren that he would be returned to the street if he sobbed or complained. Then Ren left the house to survey the city. He had a dream in which his mother was bringing him food. He sat down and sobbed after understanding it was simply a hallucination. Kumitetsu discovered Ren dozing off inside the chicken coop the following morning. The two of them then share a breakfast. Ren detests eating raw eggs, in contrast to Kumitetsu, who devours his rice with raw eggs. He fled to the streets because he didn't want to be anyone's disciple. The followers of Kumitetsu's opponent, Uzen, caught him in the city. Uzen instructed Kumitetsu to return him to the human realm after saying that he is his pupil. He said that because humans have darkness within of them, the worlds of humans and beasts are divided. Uzen was challenged to a fight by Kumitetsu, who stated that he had not observed anything like that inside Ren. A large crowd watched the battle as it took place in the midst of the market. The brutal struggle continued. Kumitetsu was initially in the lead, but once people began to support Uzen, everything changed. Ren observed how Uzen continued to dominate Kumitetsu and encouraged him. But Kumitetsu was quickly knocked out. The Grand Master broke up the altercation and gave Kumitetsu permission to keep his human apprentice. At his house, Ren told Kumitetsu that he doesn't mind being his disciple as long as he can become stronger. He started eating the raw eggs over rice, which he is truly repulsed by, to demonstrate his tenacity. Kumitetsu was incredibly happy with this. They began his swordsmanship instruction the following day. Ren is a poor teacher, but Kumitetsu is even worse. Ren was instructed by Kumitetsu to take the sword to his heart. Ren, though, doesn't get anything out of it. After becoming irate, Kumitetsu left them for a few days. When doing the tasks for Kumitetsu at the time, Ren was harassed by the child of Uzen. The two of them again argued about what the other lacked when Kumitetsu got back. How weak Ren is compared to Uzen, and how terrible Kumitetsu is. The Grand Master unexpectedly showed up and assigned Kumitetsu a task. To discover the meaning of strength, they must set out on a journey throughout the country to meet many renowned sages. As they traveled, the two of them frequently argued because Kumitetsu insisted that Ren complete tasks quickly. They encountered all five sages, who each provided them with a unique definition of strength. Ren worries that he will always be weak and untalented. Kumitetsu worries that he won't be able to instruct Ren in the meanwhile. Ren then began imitating Kumitetsu's every move in an effort to pick his brain. Kumitetsu was initially annoyed by it but eventually found enjoyment in it. Ren eventually developed the ability to anticipate Kumitetsu's movements and consistently evade his attacks. Ren pledged to teach Kumitetsu how to foresee the enemy's movements in return for him teaching him how to fight. Ren started getting stronger over time, and no one could abuse him any longer. 
When Ren developed, Kumitetsu also strengthened because he stopped concentrating solely on himself as a result of their joint training, which sharpened and improved his movement. As the years went by, Ren gained notoriety for his strength, and applicants for Kumitetsu's discipleship began to line up. One day, when Ren was rushing away from Kumitetsu, he found the alley that went to the human realm. To see if he could still read, he went to the library. He asked Akayate, who was a girl he met there, how to read the word whale written on the book he was trying to read. High school girl Kaede experienced bullying from her peers after she attempted to enforce some regulations in the library. Ren protected her from the bullies, and in return, Kaede taught Ren how to read. Ren then divides his time between learning to read in the human world and assisting Kumitetsu in instructing his pupils in the realm of beasts. The two then grew closer as time went on. Kaede admitted that her parents had intended her to do all she had done up to this point, including achieving outstanding marks. And right now, all she wanted to do was get out of her house. He was persuaded by Kaede to take the college admission exam for non-high school graduates. He cannot, however, take any of the examinations without a home address or family. While working on his family record, he uncovered the address of his father. He attempted to knock on the door at the address but gave up and left. He ran into his father on the way home, who at first didn't recognize him. This put him in a difficult situation. Choose to continue existing in the world of beasts or to live a typical human life in the world of humans. He informed Kumitatsu at home that he would attend the human school regardless of his feelings about it. He was able to go despite Kumitetsu's prohibition, therefore he did not. Then, Ren's father made an effort to restore the previous state of affairs. Ren became irate and fled once more after observing how his father continues to act as if nothing has happened in the last few years. When Kumitetsu wouldn't listen to him and his father was so eager to move on, he yearned to return to the Shibuya streets. Then he noticed the dark heart-shaped reflection of his childhood shadow. It was the shadow that stalked him during his childhood's darkest period. Kaede noticed Ren was having a problem while she was in the library. Ren began questioning Kaede about whether he is a human or a beast as he became perplexed about it. Kaede was alarmed by this and smacked him in the face. Ren ultimately composed himself and offered Kaede an apology. Kaede gave Ren a charm and instructed him to glance at it if he ever felt lost. Ren is shocked to learn that Grandmaster has chosen the god he wants to reincarnate into at Jutangai. This indicates that the final match to choose the new Grandmaster has begun. The son of Uzan informed him that his father had been preparing for the fight nonstop. After that, they shook hands and vowed to remain friends no matter what happened. Ikiru Hiko, Uzan's older son, attacked him as they were making their way home. Ren noticed the same blackness on Ikiru Hiko's chest while she was being attacked. The struggle to become the new grandmaster then started. Kumitetsu battled valiantly, but Uzan's quick techniques kept outpacing him. Ren yelled to Kumitetsu to not lose just before he was about to be tapped out. As a result of their quarrel, Kumitetsu got up to continue the battle. Then, Kumitetsu turned to fight while grinning. Similar to how he normally fought Ren. He knocked Uzan out after disabling his sword, at which point he was crowned the victor. Uzan departed the arena as Ren congratulated Kumitetsu. But, Ikiru Hiko unexpectedly summoned his inner darkness's telekinetic strength to stab Kumitetsu with his father's sword. Ren's darkness emerged as he watched his father figure be stabbed and he is now prepared to slash at Ikiru Hiko. Fortunately, Chiko was able to stop him, and the sight of Kaede's charm helped to calm him down. Afterwards, Ikiru Hiko's darkness completely engulfed him before dissipating. Having escaped the attack, Kumitetsu is currently unconscious. Uzan then explained how, after discovering Ikiru Hiko as an abandoned baby in an alley, he had managed to save him from the human world. He also disclosed that the origins of his uneasiness, which gave rise to his darkness, were lying to Ikiru Hiko about being a beast his entire existence. After learning this, Ren went in search of Ikiru Hiko. Tatara and Hayakushuabu made an effort to dissuade him from seeking retribution. Ren, though, is not seeking retribution. He understood that the two of them are actually identical, but Ren is kept out of the darkness by those who reared him. He thanked them for everything and went. He ran across Kaede in the human world and thanked her for everything because he wasn't sure he could defeat Ikiru Hiko. He was nevertheless unexpectedly ambushed in the middle of the street by Ikiru Hiko. Ren and Kaede fled, but Ikiru Hiko pursued them like a huge shadow. Wherever Ikiru Hiko's shadow went, chaos and mayhem followed. The only option Ren can think of to overcome Ikiru Hiko is to absorb the darkness of Ikiru Hiko and kill himself in order to extinguish the darkness. Kumitetsu visited the Grand Master at the Ju Tengai to make a request to become a god. Since that is his only chance to save Ren. Ikiru Hiko is attacking Ren and Kaede back in the human realm. 
Ren started absorbing Ikiru Hiko's darkness as soon as he took his blade out of its scabbard. But immediately, a blazing sword appeared in their path. The Ju Tengai inhabitants came as well and informed Ren that the sword was Kumitetsu. Kumitetsu assumed the shape of a sword and changed into the deity of tools. After that, the blade entered Ren's heart. It became the sword that Ren could grip in his heart. Ren severed Ikiru Hiko's darkness with the blade in his heart without killing him. He then presented Ikiru Hiko Kaede's charm to him in order to aid him in self-control moving forward. Ren is hailed as a hero in the beast world. The Grand Master's right to become a god was taken away by Kumitetsu, forcing him to resume his role as Grand Master. Then Kaede and Ren meet up at the beast world. After returning to the human world, Ren was able to have that supper with his father. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified whenever we publish the next recap. Till then take care. See you next time.